Hey folks, welcome. It is the 5th of December 2023. I am doing, this is a part two of the video that I did in relation to this, doing a sort of like a, a test on this, the, the, one of these cheap Chinese wheels that was sent to me by Vivo. So, As you can see, I have it here. So one thing you'll notice, so perhaps, maybe you'll notice, uh, I have lowered these uh, legs. I have also put washers under these bolts there. And um, I've got them in the, the highest position that the wheel can be. It is still too low, so as you can see, I put some wooden blocks underneath it. I have also remedied the foot pedal that was rocking from side to side by, by depressing the, the middle of the foot pedal by heating it up first with a heat gun and, and pushing it down and then holding it for a while and it now functions better. I've also taken this apart and recalibrated inside the uh, little cog mechanism that, that makes it work, which turns the little gizmo inside there, which then makes the wheel go around. So I've done that. What else? Uh, Yes, I have here also, because I am concerned about wet, wetness flowing down from up here where my water pot is located, as you can see, some splash is obviously going to happen and it's going to run over. There's no lip here or anything to stop along this edge to stop uh, water flowing down over. So what I've done as a temporary measure, just put a piece of duct tape, as you can see, like that. So the water drops will fall, flow off the side of that. What one could do with one of these wheels is if you took a bead of silicon and, and, and put it all the way along the edge here, like this, that would then also provide a barrier to water wanting to flow over that that corner there you see. So it's just something to think about. Just practical considerations. Um, other than that the wheel is is plugged in. We will we will turn it on. As you see the light comes on and I think I've got it in the right position here on the green button for for the right the right direction. Let's just test that. Yes, that's going in the right direction. Okay. Oh yeah, one further thing, and that is the, the wheel head here that I talk about that I did actually cut my little finger on. Um, you can see the grooves, as I mentioned before. But I have taken some sandpaper. You can use emery paper as well. And I've just held it to that, you know. And I recommend that everybody does that. You hold this and s smooth it out all over. Okay? Apart from that, from a practical viewpoint, I've got a little, a little water bowl here. As you see, I have this sponge here for, for the reason to absorb any water that gets here. Um, you're gonna see the amount of room they give you to put a water pot is not, not a lot. You can get away with it if you have a small water pot like that. Okay, so I've got here a lump of clay. This is about four and a half pounds. I'm gonna get this set up on the tripod and we're gonna try and throw with it. Let's have a look, there we go. All right, let's just see. See how it does. I'll try and get the angle here, the best angle as I can. Ugh. 
So I've got one of these stools, it's approximately the same height as the wheel head, the stool, maybe half an inch lower. So as I mentioned previously, there are no back pins here. And I have to make a, 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 um, a comment about something that I said. If you remember when I showed you, demonstrated this wheel, it was going around and I, I held my hand on it and it kept stopping, remember? In the last video. And I realised that was actually my mistake, not the wheel's mistake, that was my mistake because the power pack that I was using what, it was, what was actually happening was the power pack was cutting out because this was drawing too much current and I didn't have it plugged into the main socket which I should have done so ignore that I have tested it now connected to the mains power and it, it doesn't stop it's got enough power you'll notice when I when I apply my I don't know if you can hear that, it's a slight sort of whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see how it does. I'm just going to put four and a half pounds of clay down on here and we'll just widen it and pull up something. I don't know what, but see how we go. Um, so I've got some warm water here. Um, put that rule over there. Okay, let's, let's do it. Yeah, so what you're going to notice is immediately, as you apply pressure, you can hear the wheel sort of going, mm, 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 mm. Now, I don't know, I don't know what is, I don't know what is causing that exactly. Something I suspect to do with that, with that belt I showed you, and that sort of wobbly wheel. That's my guess, anyway. Now you notice there, I'm pushing down, centering down the wheel. One thing you're going to have to be careful of here, this is, it's not very wide, the stance of the wheel. Where the legs are, it's just a tripod design. You are applying a lot of pressure to a lump of clay. Be careful, you can, you, the whole wheel will just tip over. Okay, oh, there you go, see, look, I just, because I, I'm, I'm putting my leg against it a bit, you see, because I want to. Okay, so another thing I want to mention is, as I did mention before, the difference in height between the wheel head and the, the, the top of the slop tray here. You notice that the wheel is rather sunk down in, in the slop tray, which means that you have this rather awkward dip down here where you've got to get your hand. You see? Now, this wheel does not come with back pins, as I said, but I'm throwing, I'm, I'm just throwing directly off the wheel head, which you can do. I mean, when I did my pottery training, I don't think, I don't think any of the wheels had um, back pins. I'm just going to get my needle tool, which I, yes, I, I do have it here actually. I just want to, uh, just going to stick this in, just want to test the base, the thickness through the base here. Yeah, okay, good. So, when throwing on a wheel, the closer you are to the, right in the centre of the wheel, your throwing and your movements, etc., are... The, 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 less, the less effort the wheel or the motor needs to revolve the wheel. As you bring the clay further out, out, out here to the 
circumference of the wheel head, the motor has got to work considerably, considerably harder, you see. So, now it, it, I've got to have to be perfectly honest here, the, the wheel is not going around at a constant speed, it's got a jerkiness to it, which I think, which I think you can, you can pick up on just by the sound, you can appreciate. Now here, you see, I'm trying to come in to grab some clay at the base of the pot, but because my, my hand can only, that's as low as my hand can go, you see, it's at an angle like that, it's not flat, I'm not coming in here at the side, I've got to, this is too high. <laughs> that's the bottom line. <laughs> So, I mean, I think the wheel has enough power, it's the delivery of the power is a little... I mean, honestly, I, I, don't, I don't think I would use this pot for doing... Uh, sorry, I wouldn't use this wheel, <laughs> not pot, I wouldn't use this wheel for throwing wide forms with large lumps of clay. I think it's better suited for smaller pieces of clay, a few pounds maybe and then thrown closer to the centre of the wheel, not out here on the wheel head, further out, wider. That's just my... my take on it. So yeah, just pulling up the clay here. Uh, I don't have anything in mind to make particularly other than just a pull up. Just pull a cylinder up and you know just see how it see how the, the wheel performs. See when you take water from your water pot here, inevitably the drips occur. You see, this is why this is a problem for the electronics. Well Simon, you, you're being rather fussy. You 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 know you Well, I'm just cutting the wheel speed down a bit because, as you know, I like throwing slow because I throw on that leech treadle wheel. Um, Yeah, I have a problem with my memory card on my camera. After 28 minutes, it just cuts out. I don't know why. So I've just got to keep an eye on the time. But, you know, we, we don't need to go on and on and on, do we? I mean, you don't want a long, a long video with me going into all of the woes of this wheel. It's not all woes. I mean, you know, it is what it is. You know, you... The... Got to bear in mind, you know, the cost of the wheel, what it's going to cost you. I mean, if you're buying like a Shimpo or something like that, you're paying, I don't know how much they cost even these days, but you know, I'm thinking 13, 14, 15, hunt, whoops. Hey, don't lean your leg against the wheel. <laughs> You know, I don't want to knock the wheel unnecessarily, but at the same time, I just want to be truthful and honest and give you just uh, my appraisal of the wheel. You know, warts and all. Now, if you get one of these wheels and you go through the wheel and do some of the things I've suggested, then... Um,
you could end up with a wheel that is, you know, maybe you're somebody who wants to get into pottery, you're not sure about throwing $1,500 at a shimpo, you're not sure if you're going to like it or not. Well, for somebody like that, this, this kind of wheel is, 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 in a sense, perfect, isn't it? Because you haven't got to invest much money. I think the wheel costs, I don't know, something like around about $100 $170, they vary, you know, I've had a number of these wheels, this is, not the only one I've got here, I've got one, two, three, four, I've got five of these, and let me tell you, every single wheel is different, one from the, the other, there are no two the same, and, Now, two of these wheels that I've got here, two of them, the first one that they sent me to do a demo on, to use for a demo, to do a test, it, it came crunched in the box, the legs were bent, the welding was cracked, so they immediately sent me another one. So I've ended up with two of these wheels. So, yeah, I mean, the wheel head is a little, a little dicey. You want to make sure that is dead smooth because you don't want to cut yourself. It's the little attention to detail, you know, the, the finishing that it is lacking. I think if the company, the manufacturer of these wheels, if they just took a little bit more trouble, putting a few more washers here and there, making sure that the nuts and bolts are in place and that they're done up and they're not loose and floating around in the box. <laughs> then, you know, that, that all goes quite a long way to inspection and quality control just to uh, provide a better product, you know. Anyway, that's up to them what they do. As far as I'm concerned, I'm just doing a test on it. I'm just going to be honest, tell people what I think. Yeah, should you get one? Yeah, absolutely, go and get one. Why not? You're not going to break the bank. And, um, you know, there's functionality there. It works. You can improve it with a little bit of, um, a little bit of jiggery pokery, as my dad would say. I don't know how you're going to cure the discrepancy in the height between the wheel head and here. You see, if you look at that and then you look at this, you see that's really how it should be. The wheel head should be here. That other wheel there that I got from them is also, but it's better on that one. Yeah, and the shimpo over there with the bucket on, again, the height is, is better. Here, this, another shimpo here. You see, that's how you want it, really. Like that, it's too deep, too sunk in. So there you have it, folks. Just a brief little, uh, a little summary, a little recap, a bit of practical there. Uh, I don't know if this, if this tray down in here will begin to leak or not. I suspect it will, most of these trays leak, don't they, somewhere. Uh, again, if it, does, if it does leak in under here, all the more reason to make sure you've got something like this to protect the switches or a bead of silicon all the way along the edge to keep the water away, away from the edge. Okay, folks, thanks for watching. Thank you, Vivor, for sending me the wheel. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep practicing. Bye for now. Dee -dee -dee -dee.